All right, so check it out. I finally finished this thing. There's just a couple small button-up uh, details on it to get it done. So what is this? This is an incubator controller uh, to control bed leveling or bed tilt. And, uh, I mean, you can see there, bed level, timer power, and main power. Uh, but the purpose of this is actually to control an older incubator. Um, this incubator in particular has a hand crank to level beds or to tilt beds. And uh, unfortunately, you have to be there in order to, uh, you know, modify this thing. So to tilt left and right, you have to turn eggs at least three times a day. And uh, sometimes that just isn't possible. So what does this do? <clears throat> so we got right here. A RV motor uh, it actually controls the steps or powers steps on uh, like a camper um, and this is a reversal bull motor so you can go backward and forward uh, it does not have stops in it it, uh, it actually just torques uh, installs the motor they advertise it as uh, having stops but it it doesn't and if you do that you'll kill the motor you know $80 motor not cool to kill we have limit switches right here so these are, you know, everyone should know what a limit switch is. When you hit a certain limit, it flips the switch. Uh, two of those, so one for the left and one for the right of the tray. So when they come up, they hit that limit switch and break a circuit. Um, <clears throat> same on the other side. It will come to the, you know, your bed will tilt like this back and forth. And when one side comes up, it'll trip a limit and the other side goes down. Uh, when that side comes up, it trips the other limit and stops the rotation of the motor so you don't over-rotate and crash the, uh, the crank. So, uh, let's open this up and, uh, observe the jank. Uh, so we have a Meanwell 10 amp 12 volt power supply right here. See that? Meanwell. Uh, <clears throat> we have a timer here, this is actually a timer relay. Uh, you have T1 and T2, and T1 is time, uh, both of these are time on, time off, but you can set the amount of time that this motor will stay on and turn off. Uh, in this case, it actually, uh, so when one goes on uh, and then off, the other comes on, and what that does is it flips, so this will rotate in reverse, when T2 goes on or off. Um, and that's controlled by this. This is a reversing relay. And you can see there it says, you know, Uno or Oh No. And what that does is <clears throat> you have three wires here. This one, the center, and this guy here. And when you short this wire to center, it goes one way. When you short this wire to center, it goes the other way. Uh, this is the out for the motor. You see here, this guy runs to the motor. And this is the power to power this. Uh, feed through power and actually to power the device. So, uh, you know, and then we got a bunch of switches over here. And so let me show you what this does and how it works. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so we turn on our main power, and you see here we have timer power. So this timer power switch controls this relay. Uh, it actually doesn't turn the relay on and off, it just interrupts the connection between these. So if we turn that timer power on, See that? Now you may be thinking, that's dumb. Okay, how, how, how is this gonna turn an incubator? Now, like I said, the crank on the side here, you actually crank it like this, and it has an Acme thread in there that uh, tilts the beds. So this guy going back and forth is actually just gonna crank that thread. And, uh, you know, when it hits a certain point on these limits, see? I hope that makes sense.
So see how the limit's making it stop? Same with this other one. So what happens if we don't want that to spin? We can turn the timer power off. Once we get the timer power off, say the beds are tilted, right? Sorry about the trash and stuff. And my dog, this is my work area. Um, so the timer power will actually interrupt how that motor runs. It, it inter like I said, it interrupts the, the relay here. So if you want to level the beds, say the beds when you stopped it are tilted, you can actually, this is a two-way switch up and down. So if you want to go one way, or if you need it to go the other way, see that? So now you can level the beds back and forth, and then when you're done, the timer, you flip it back on, and it'll pick up where it left off. It doesn't actually turn the timer off. It just interrupts the connection to this. And then this will actually, this switch actually replaces that timer. So when you actuate it, you're actually active, you know, you're activating this guy here manually. So, uh, you know, automation isn't es essentially, uh, well, sorry, especially exciting, but, uh, I think it's pretty cool, especially when you can automate something, uh, that was never, uh, intended to be automated. Um, and this whole setup here, uh, it's all industrial. So like that won't be subjected to wash down, but these will, and this is sealed too, to keep any humidity and stuff out. We got glands here, uh, with rubber inserts, same as up top here. Um, and that'll keep all the moisture out and stuff like that. But, uh, about 250 for this entire thing, um, which isn't really bad when you're talking about an enormous incubator. And this can be used on any setup. Uh, you really just need to adapt this. Uh, so some uh, incubators may use a, a linear actuator. Some of them may use a different kind of motor with a chain and a gear. Uh, you know, you can swap this out for whatever. Uh, still will work the same as it just reverses. That's all. You just change out the actuation portion of the device, the setup here. But your limit switches just need to be able to touch something inside that's going to tell it to turn off, right? Don't spin anymore. So, anyway, hope you uh, enjoyed or something. Um, have a good evening. See you.